What is going on guys, Noah Burr here back again with another video and today we're going to be talking about something that has been frequently discussed in my YouTube comments and that is how to make a United States TikTok ad account. Now let me explain. So if you are in the US and you make a TikTok ad account, you are able to target pretty much every country that is possible to target with TikTok ads. But if you're in Europe, um, you're actually not able to target the USA, you're not able to target Canada. TikTok actually has a list of you know what countries can target what countries. I don't know exactly why they're doing this, but it is a little bit annoying, and if you wanna follow my TikTok strategies, then you have to have a USA ad account, essentially is what I'm trying to say. So in this video, what I'm gonna be talking about is if you're in Europe, if you're in France, you know, Germany, Belgium, if you're in uh, India, you know, any of these smaller countries that you're unable to target the USA in, how are you supposed to get your hands on a TikTok ad account from the USA so that you can actually target the USA and Canada and pretty much any other country? So we're gonna be going through the different steps that you can take today um, and kind of just doing an overview of how you can accomplish this, um, how we've been able to do it for our agency clients, by the way, if you're interested in working with us directly, having us give you products, build your store, run your ads, and scale your ads once a winner is found on TikTok ads, then there will be a link in the description to schedule a call with one of my team members and discuss whether or not it could be a good fit for you. So we obviously figured this out for our clients because we had people in Europe that wanted to join the agency. And obviously in the agency, we wanna follow the methods of what we know works. And what we know works is targeting USA and Canada. Of course, there's you can make it work in other ways as well. We've also been testing around in different countries. But for now, um, we really wanted to figure out a way that we can kind of like rinse and repeat USA TikTok ad accounts. So there's essentially a few things that you need to do, but let's go ahead and go over a summary of what I'm gonna be talking about in this video. So number one thing that we're gonna cover is what exactly you need to get a USA TikTok ad account. And then number two is how to actually get what you need. What's the best way to do it? What websites? How have we been doing it so far? So now that we got that out of the way, let's get right into it. So there's only a few things that you really need to uh, create a USA TikTok ad account. As of right now, um, the first one is a USA IP address. Just, this is just so that you know TikTok doesn't automatically flag you for being in Europe and they, they might know that you're not actually in the USA. Um, and another reason you may need this is if you're in India or China or like any of these other countries, you may not actually be able to access TikTok in the first place. So if you use an, a, a VPN or a proxy or RDP, um, this could be a way around that. Um, one thing I would recommend is looking into a static VPN or a static multi-login, which this essentially makes it so that every time you sign in, you're using the same IP address. That way you don't get flagged for having like different IP addresses all over the place. This is like one of the issues with like just like a base level VPN. Uh, but you can in fact get away with a base level VPN, but I would highly recommend going with a static multi-login instead. Um, another option that you can do is a RDP, which is essentially a remote desktop protocol. And this is gonna be like a little browser. It's essentially a computer inside of your computer and the location of that computer can be in the US. So that way, if they look even deeper than just the IP address, they can see that you know not only is your IP there, but your whole location is there, right? Like all the foundations are there. So this is another option. And if you do do an RDP, I would also recommend doing a static multi-login just to be super extra safe. So we got that covered. Obviously, I don't need to use IPs because I'm actually in the US, but if you're outside the US, chances are you're already decently familiar with these kinds of things. I'm definitely not like an expert in VPNs and RDPs and static multi-logins and stuff like that, but I know that they exist and I know that we have had to use them with clients in the past. The second thing is a USA phone number. Now, I know that this kind of seems intimidating or whatever, but it's super duper easy to do. Um, you can use Google phone numbers. There's different iPhone apps and Android apps that will essentially allow you to create like a secondary phone number using any area code and any country code in the world. Um, so yes, it costs money. I think Google phone numbers like $15, something along those lines. And then different apps on your phone, it could be a monthly fee, it could be this, it could be that. It's not that hard to get a new phone number. In our experience, if you can use Google phone numbers, then that's probably the best option. But if you're not able to, depending on what country you're in, then there's definitely options out there. You just have to go out and find them. And the final one, and the thing that I think most people think is the most intimidating is getting an actual USA address. There's a few different ways that you can do that. Um, there's kind of like the honest way and then the not so honest way and then the really not so honest way. So like the, the most honest way that you can do this is to purchase an office space in the US. Um, they're not that expensive. You can go to like a co-working place like Regis or WeWork and get like a physical office space for about $1,000 a month. Um, now for most people, this is not gonna be like a, a 
a tangible option because you know if you're just starting out or whatever you're not going to want to purchase an office space but i wanted to put it on here just so that you can kind of see like what the most legit way to do it is if you're outside of the country um, the next way is kind of like a co-working space these range anywhere from like 30 to 150 dollars per month depending on where it is and essentially it's not like an official office space uh, but you can still use the address of the co-working location. And if, if you know, TikTok were to ever ask, like, why is this your address? You can say, like, this is where, you know, we work for our company because we do co-working or whatever. At least you have some sort of backup and some sort of explanation as to why that's your address on your account. Um, even though it's not technically your actual address, um, you still have affiliation with that company and, or with that address. That way it's not so sketchy. And like I said, some popular companies in the United States are, you know, WeWork is a really, really big one. Um, Regis um, also as well I myself have, have a Regis office and the final option which I mean honestly I, I can't legally recommend it but I can put it out there is just to go on Google search up you know we work or, or you know Regis office buildings and just use that address for now um, if TikTok in the future ends up verifying it you may lose your ad account but I mean if you don't want to get a real office space and you don't want to get co-working and deal with all that stuff you can easily just go and find a random address and you can also use an address generator like there's a lot that you can do um, so this will work essentially until TikTok starts verifying addresses which I know Facebook started doing and then they stopped doing it but you know for the most part you want to do this kind of like as legit as possible but again if you're just starting out you're not going to want to invest all this money into just getting a USA address so I wouldn't completely blame you if you just used a fake address for now all right guys I hope this video helped you out a lot um, these are a few of the things that we've been able to do to create TikTok ad accounts in the United States when you're outside of the United States that way you can actually follow my methods and target USA and Canada with TikTok ads. So I know that this is kind of tedious video and it's not like super exciting, but you know, this is the small stuff that I learn behind the scenes that I like to get on here and share. If you want to learn more things like this, make sure that you subscribe to the channel. And of course, if you have any feedback or anything that you can add to this discussion, leave it in the comment sections below because not only do you help me, but you're also helping all the other viewers who go down there and read the comments. And trust me, people go down and read the comments. I do it, you do it, we all do it. And it's really good to go down into the comments and see somebody ask a really good question or see somebody giving some really good advice. So you're not only learning from the video, but you're also learning from the community, which I think is really special and it's part of the reason why I do this. So I hope you liked the video. I hope it was valuable for you and I hope that you're able to use this to run ads in the USA and Canada if that's something that you wish to do. But that's pretty much it for this video. This is Noah Burr and I'm out. Peace.